and there'll be all sorts of conversations happening this week. Sorry, Kelly, go ahead. Do you get a sense that um, as the president's been at his first meeting with Kevin McCarthy here in yeah. that, uh, that leadership meeting you talked about, obviously the House Republicans have some of their own internal matters going on. Mm -hmm. Does the president think any discord they are having has an influence or comes into the meetings that he will have with leadership? Does that affect how he views sitting down with them at all? No. The president knows that uh, there is some um, uh, introspection going on in the Republican Party right now and uh, a determination about who they're going to be, who they want to lead them, and what they want to represent moving forward. Uh, he's not going to focus on that. Uh, he also believes that the American people uh, did not elect him to uh, accept improbability or impossibility of working in a bipartisan manner. So the role he can play as President of the United States is to uh, continue to seek ways to work together. And the fact is we are continuing to work, even with the um, family excitement that's happening on the other side of the aisle. Um, we are continuing to work with Republicans on a range of issues. National security. We we passed our we uh, we confirmed our uh, our uh, cabinet uh, in a, a faster pace since then since Reagan. Uh, we're working to increase our competition. Uh, there are a lot of ways we're working with Republicans, even as uh, they're determining who they are moving forward. Go ahead in the back. Thank you, Jen. Uh, both uh, German Chancellor Merkel and French President Macron have expressed their concerns over U.S. policy towards vaccine. They've basically been underlining the need for more experts, be it for the vaccine itself or the components. Does the President understand their frustration? And more broadly, do you think he underestimated the, the negative reactions around the world? Well, let me first say that the President's commitment to a global COVID-19 response uh, has been steadfast and consistent since day one, when we made the decision to rejoin the WHO. We understand that the border, the virus knows no borders, that it is important for the United States to continue to play a central role in addressing the global pandemic. We've invested more than any other country in COVAX, and we're pushing other countries to invest more in the program to get vaccines to developing countries. We're working to boost global production through partnerships like the Quad Partnership. Moderna and Pfizer have announced plans and intentions to increase supply and get it out to the global community. And of course, we've announced that we are going to uh, share 60 million doses, 10 million of which, as Josh referred to or alluded to earlier, will be hopefully approved by the FDA soon. So there's no question we're playing a role. We will continue to play an increased role uh, in efforts to address the pandemic and get the pandemic under control. Go ahead in the back. Thank you, John. Uh, speaking of uh, NATO's eastern flank, uh, the important part of 